For Anik de Joie, it's been an ordeal that has seen her undergo several surgical procedures to replace ruptured breast implants. After suffering fatigue and swollen glands, she decided to remove the implants completely. I was lucky to undergo surgery again and get them taken out. You're never completely safe from illnesses. Something could still happen to me. But with regards to the implants, I was really very lucky. And it's implants such as these that are the problem. Made by the now defunct French company PIP, they were found to be carrying a silicon gel not approved for medical use. It's not just France that's concerned. PIP was ranked third in the world and 87% of the product was exported. So we're looking at 300,000 to 400,000 potential victims in the world. In France, there have been eight occurrences of cancer among women who have had PIP silicon gel implants. There, a reported 30,000 women still carry the implants. And after 2,000 complaints were made, another 523 women had them removed. The health scare caused by the implants has prompted French doctors to advise women to have them removed ahead of an official investigation into the matter. But in Britain, the healthcare regulatory agency has said there was insufficient evidence to prove the implants were dangerous. We've worked with uh, our professional bodies, with doctors and with the cancer registry and again we can find no association, no link with any type of cancer. The French government says it will pay for the full removal of the implants for women who have had reconstructive or cosmetic procedures. Either way, it's likely to raise more questions about the safety of breast implant surgery. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera.